Welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. It's a beautiful evening and it finally cooled down quite a bit. Nice night for a fire. Now with that being said, I thought it'd be a good night to take a look at a couple different types of fire pits. This one right here we bought at uh, Bass Pro, I think it was last summer. It's holding up okay. I mean it's not the best. By far it's not the worst. It served its purpose. We like to cook over a fire quite often. Uh, but after less than a year's use, you can see it's shown some wear. The grate is getting a little bit wonky from the heat, but all in all, not a bad fire pit for a couple hundred bucks. Now over there on the patio, we have a smokeless fire pit, a solo stove, the bonfire. Let's take a look at that. Now we've had this one for probably three or four years. Not a whole lot of use out of this one. Uh, once we got the furniture for the patio here, I brought this out. We've been having some fires in the evening with it. It's a nice fire pit. It is smokeless. Once it gets up to temperature, you know, it really gets cooking. Uh, this is the bonfire, if I didn't already mention it. One of the things I don't like about this, it's just not big enough, and I'll show you why. Now, excuse the uh, mess in the back of the sidekick here, but I cut my firewood at uh, 16 inches in length. Now, it varies from probably 15 and a half. That piece is right at 16. That's about 15 and 3 eighths. 15 and 3 quarters, okay? Pretty close to 16 inches. Now, 16 inches is a pretty standard length when it comes to firewood. First of all, doesn't go that way. You can get a few pieces in there, don't get me wrong. What I like to do when I start a fire, I'll use like a crisscross pattern. It's just too small. You need a bigger fire pit. Now they make bigger solo stoves, uh, but this is the bonfire. So we were looking to replace this stove. So many of you over the last year or two suggested a Brio fire pit. So we took your advice and we bought one the other day. Now this is the X series, the 24. Now when I went to look at these at a dealer, I had been looking at them online. I had every intention on getting the bigger one, but after looking at the 24, I think it's gonna be a pretty good size for over on that patio. If we find later on that we want a bigger one, I may take this one down to West Virginia, but I think this one's gonna be pretty good for the patio over there. Much bigger, you're gonna be moving your chairs further away. This will definitely take 16 inch firewood. And uh, I'm actually really looking forward to uh, firing this thing up. We have some accessories coming for it later this week, the outpost the sear plate, a cover, uh, but right now I'm kind of chomping at the bit to try this thing out. So this is kind of nice. When you open up the box, here are some of the accessories. Uh, what we have coming is the outpost grill, the sear plate griddle, it fits around the outside, and a cover for it. You can also get like a spark screen, a fire pit lid, ash shovel i don't think i really need that at some point the kettle hook may be nice as well but we'll have to see up here it has unboxing your x series remove your fire pit yada yada place your fire pit and build a better fire follow our fire five steps on how to build a better fire in the user guide included or follow along with the video below Here's the uh, user's guide, how to build the ultimate smokeless fire. Yeah, they do, uh, they suggest like a crisscross pattern like I do. They call it build a log cabin. Let's get this out of the box and uh, light it up. All right, Melissa, what do you think so far? Wow, it looks nice and it's much bigger. Yeah, and like I said, that's the 24. Okay. I had every intention on buying the 30, right. but I think this That's is... That's a nice size for right here. Yeah. I think if you have a larger area with more chairs, possibly, but like, I don't know, look at that. That's a good size. Yeah. And so... then you stand here and you look at this one going, 
That's so small. It's just so tiny. It's so tiny. All right, we're going to load this up. As you can see, plenty of room for the 16 inch firewood. I'm going to get a little fire starter. We'll put in there and light it up. And by the way, we do have a uh, fire starter available. Okay, we're just going to take a handful of the fire starter, set it right in the center. I'm going to light it up. I use these little torches, but you can use a uh, match, lighter, anything you want. And we're going to load it up. Melissa, just keep running that camera. Get some more wood. All right, the fire starter's lit. We're gonna sit back here. Got the hunt man back there chilling at the uh, table listening to his music. So far, I like the appearance of the Brio. Right over there is a hole. That's where the uh, outpost oh, yeah. is gonna go. We have a sear plate coming for it and a cover. But it's gonna smoke here for a little bit, I'm sure, till it gets going. Uh, one of the things that kind of drew me to the Brio was a lot of comments from people, a lot of research that I did. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. We bought this fire pit. And the other thing is it's made in Pennsylvania, and we are from Pennsylvania. This is from Eastern PA up by Lancaster. Definitely not smokeless yet. It's blown right in my face, but we'll see what happens here. So I got, what, nine pieces of wood in there. Yeah. Melissa doesn't have a microphone on, so she's being kind of quiet over there. You can just keep looking pretty, Melissa. I'll try. I better try harder. Yeah, it's starting to take off now. Definitely still smoking. But like I said, we have a uh, fire starter available. Uh, it works great, it really does. It'll be a link in the description. I'll pin a comment as well. I'm gonna choke out over here. It's nice that it finally cooled down a little bit. Yeah, a little even a little cooler than today. Yeah. Then the coming week, that's what it was. So this coming week's gonna be really yeah. nice. Yeah, so far I'm very pleased with the size of this fire pit. Uh, I'm convinced I made the right choice there in the 24. Now Brio, they have several different types of fire pits, different sizes, uh, different finishes. They have them all stainless. This one, uh, they call that Corton. I think that's how you pronounce it, steel. The sides will turn like a rust color and stay that way, which I think will actually be pretty nice uh, with this patio here. But yeah, so far so good on the uh, Brio. It's heavy. I mean, it's uh, that one there probably weighs twice as much as the Solo Bonfire. Now I know I'm not comparing apples to apples, but this is just a heavy duty uh, fire pit. It really is. American made. And by the way, it is all cleared up. Hardly any smoke at all now. It's pretty crazy how that works. Now the Solo will probably, uh, for the time being, take this down to West Virginia, use it down there at the cabin. But I think it may be a good idea to uh, get a fire going in this as well, and we can kind of compare the two.
By the way, out of a uh, 1.75 pound bag of fire starter, you can start about 25 to 30 fires. See, that piece is just a little bit long. We're going to swap that out. Yeah, bonfire, just too small. Too small. Get a few more pieces of wood here. All right, so we got six pieces of wood in the bonfire and nine in the Brio. That's a nice fire right there. Looking good. Looking forward to that sear plate that you put around there. I'll come out here and make some bacon in the morning, some burgers in the evening. Same story on the Solo as the Brio. You're going to get some smoke for a little while here until it gets going. Okay, the Solo's going pretty good now. They do have a nice flame. They really do. The Brio, it's actually almost ready for a little bit more wood. We'll get let this burn down a little bit and get some coals on the bottom. But as far as fire pits go, I think a lot of people are hesitant to spend a lot of money on just a fire pit because, you know, they may not use them all the time, but us... During the summer, we probably have a fire outside four or five times a week. And let's face it, if you want to have a fire, you know, you could have a circle of rocks uh, with a fire in the center of it. But this just does so much more, and it's going to last a lifetime. You know, it's like saying, that's a chair. I could cut an 18 or 20-inch log, and you could sit on that as well. It's all in what you want. We use these quite a bit, and uh, so far, I'm happy with the Brio. And like I said, you just gotta, you just have to like seeing a company actually make stuff in America and our home state here in Pennsylvania. We're gonna throw a few big pieces in the Brio. That's a real big piece of cherry right there. Look at that. Actually, just this one big piece, right in the middle. But anyway, like I said, this is not a sponsored video. It's not a detailed review or anything like that. But first thoughts are uh, the Brio is a quality product. Heavy duty, nice, nice fire pit. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying anything bad about the Solo. This one was just too small. And in my opinion, the Brio is much better quality than the Solo. Just my opinion. But take it for what it's worth, because I don't really care what anybody buys. You can buy a Brio, a Solo. Like I said, you can have a circle of rocks with a fire in the center. You can cook all your food in a microwave. It doesn't matter to me one bit. Uh, but so far, I'm liking the Brio. Mm -hmm.